<laughs> Naging laman ng mga balita kamakailan ang di umanoy peking interpreter na kinuha ng South African government para sa memorial service sa yung maong dating leader na si Nelson Mandela. Ayon sa reklamo ng deaf community, hindi nila naunawaan at nonsense ang ginawang pagmuestra ng interpreter habang nagtatalumpati ang iba't ibang speakers. Una nang itinanggi ng naturang sign language interpreter ang issue ng fake credentials at humingi ng paumanhin sa pangyayari na anyay dulot ng kanyang schizophrenic episode sa mga oras na iyon. At upang tulungan tayong unawain ang naturang issue, makakasama natin ngayong umaga si John Baliza, Coordinator Educational Interpreting Program, SDEA, SDS, no? SDS. O at siya po rin ang Executive Officer ng Philippine National Association of Sign Language Interpreters. Pero bago yan, meron, ta- meron sasabihin si Angela Ay, oh. using the <laughs> sign language. Oh, go! <laughs> Wait lang. Good! Good morning, morning. Kuya! Kuya. Yay. Yay! Ako ganito wow. lang. <laughs> Ayan, good morning po. Good morning. Sir John, welcome morning, back. John. Salamat oh. ulit. Sa so, totoo pag- nga ba yun na intindihan mo ba yung mga ginawa niya? Oh, napanood, napanood mo ba, ba yung video? Oo, napanood ko yung video. Oh, oh. At, uh, were, were you watching during or after na? After na, ah. after na. Um, napanood ko yung video and, well, personally, hindi ko na maintindihan Actually, parang senseless nga yung sinasabi niya. Mm-hmm. Pero meron namang mga, mga words naman meron na naitindihan. Meron daw eh. Uh, there are certain words. Rocking pero horses. wala, walang, walang sense. Uh-huh. Kumbaga, mm-hmm. when you take it into context, wala daw sense. Mm-hmm. Now, kasi yung ginagamit ni- niyang language at that time is South African Sign, sign Language. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And ang gamit natin dito ay Filipino Sign mm-hmm. Language. Oh, so, that's different. It's, different. Yeah, it's very different. Um, so, in terms of me understanding the language he was using, Um, medyo malabo talaga mm-hmm. maintindihan. So, ang magiging basihan ng ating um, assessment kung mm-hmm. may sense nga ba yung sinabi nga mm-hmm. ay yung komunidad ng mga deaf dun sa South Africa. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, kung hindi nila naintindihan dun, hindi malamang. Wala rin. Oo, mm-hmm. kasi sa kanila nang galing mismo yung reaction. Mm-hmm. Pero ano yung protocol pag, let's say, it's a world event, no? Uh, do you do you use the sign language of the country or do you use a sign yeah. language yeah. of the yeah. international yeah. So, the, so people can... Well, uh, k- kasi uh, may ganong klaseng um, misconception mm. na may international sign language mm-hmm. when in fact, wala talaga international okay. sign language. Meron tayong tinatawag na gestuno or international signs mm. pero hindi talaga to sign language. Kung baga, mm. this is just an aggregation of gestures that we usually use mm international conference or e- events. Um, in this particular um, incident uh, during the memorial service of um, Mr. Mandela, um, it was appropriate to use the South African Sign Language mm-hmm. because majority of the deaf audience are South African. Ito, mm-hmm. uh, yes, ako din they allow people ba with skits so to be interpreters talaga? Mm-hmm. Well, um, ethically, um, for an interpreter, dapat normally uh, Fit ka, dapat fit ka, yes. physically oh, oh. and mentally fit yes. ka. Oh, oh. Um, I think more than the more than the accuracy of the interpretation, mm. ang, ang bigger issue here is the the ethical practice of the interpreter. Mm. Na alam niya mm. may skit, may, uh, may skit, so mm. siya, may sakit yes. siya. Dapat hindi niya na lang tinanggap yung. Cakay yung vetting oh, procedure yes, ng mga oh. nag nagayos ng program, oh. di ba? That's Kasi, right. Mm. Isipin mo, i- dapat may background check yan, titingnan pa yung psycho. Kasi hindi mo alam if we, we, it's yeah. a terrorist or something oh, oh. posing as an Malina. interpreter. Oh. Diba? Well, apparently, nag-interpret na rin pala siya sa mga high-profile events. Mm-hmm. And ganun din, marami rin mga complaints sa kanya. Kaya nagtataka tayo, bakit nakalusot Naulit siya, pa. naulit oh, oh. ito. And katabi niya ang mga world leaders natin, especially Barack Correct. Obama, ba? Diba? Na That's right. very dangerous. At I think uh, yung recent news, may balibalita na may mga criminal cases nga itong yeah. interpreter yeah. na ito. Mm-hmm. And um, kung mapapatunayan nga na hindi siya talaga qualified interpreter, then it would mean na there's a breach of the UN Convention on mm-hmm. the Rights of Persons mm-hmm. with Disability, mm-hmm. especially the South African government. Mm-hmm. Kasi according to sa Article 9, mm-hmm. they should be providing professional and qualified qualified interpreters yeah. Yeah. for national events such as this. Yeah. So, um, mukhang hindi nangyari gano'n. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Grabe, no? Ano pa, how do you regulate these things? Well, um, primarily, dapat kasi um, meron talagang qualifications. No? Mm-hmm. Bago, ka, bago ka kumuha ng mga interpreters sa, sa kahit anong yeah. gathering, mm-hmm. whether big event mm-hmm. or small, small events, event. 
um, dapat qualified yung interpreters Who mo. Who imposes those qualifications? Well, uh, yung, yung National Association ng Deaf. Yes. At the same time, mm. yung National Association of Sign Language Interpreters. Mm. So, dapat yung dalawang yon sila yung nakikipag-coordinate with who, whoever, mm. the, the organizers Protocols of office, no? So, yeah. if, if you're not a member of any of those organizations, hindi ka pwedeng uh, uh, maging interpreter sa isang event. Because these are the recognized... Uh, That's right. Kung, uh, mm. Dapat i-recommend ka ng mga organizations mm. na yon mm. Then you could be uh, placed in, that, in, in, a, in an event to do that assignment. Um, if I may ask, no, if you have, di ba meron tayong mga national organizations as you mentioned, no? Yes. Do you, on top of that, do you have uh, parang an international accredit accreditation mm -hmm. na dapat, uh, I mean, nag, nag, uh, re-recommend sa isang, ano, sa isang interpreter to do, to perform his task? Yeah, meron tayong tinatawag na World Association of Sign Language Interpreters. Although it's very difficult for them to be regulating, like, mm -hmm. all of the mm -hmm. interpreters globally. Um, what they could do is they provide um, rules and regulations na sana ipapatupad ng bawat um, member countries mm. ng um, organization na yun. Yung sa organization yun na meron na ba kayong uh, pagkakataon na naimbitahan sa isang mm. event? Well, uh, yung aming organization, and what were the procedures Philippine National that Association of Sign Language Interpreters, kadalasan kami yung nag interpret <laughs> sa SONA, mm -hmm. President mm -hmm. Inoy. Yes. And um, we really work closely with the deaf community to make sure that yung uh, pagkaka-interpret ay accurate mm. at um, Anong language yung ginamit nyo? Was it Filipino or English? Ang gamit namin at that time was Filipino Sign Language. Oh, dahil mm. Tagalog din si Pinoy. Si Pino. Oh. Filipino yung Oh, well, lingwa, ang Filipino Pino. Sign Language kasi oh. ay iba sa spoken Tagalog. Tagalog. Okay. Mm. Filipino, so, iba yung grammar and structure niya. Mm. Ang ginamit namin yung FSL na tinatawag kasi ito yung mas um, mas naiintindihan ng karamihan mm. ng deaf community dito sa Pilipinas. Mm. Usually, ba, curious lang ako, no? Yung halimbawa yung sa speech ng ating uh, mahal na mm. Pangulo. Tinitignan niyo po, po bu muna yun bago, ninyo, bago kayo sumalang or ano yun, ano yun, uh, impromptu na? Well, actually, impromptu yun, no? Parang hindi ka mag kasi wala kami silang kopya niya. So, impromptu lahat yun. Kasi the at the time na ano, at the time na magsispeech si Pangulo, doon palang ibibigay mm. yung doon lang i speech. No? Kasi yeah. minsan at the last minute may iniiba pa yan. Eh. Mm. Tama. Ayan. So maraming salamat ang ating kaibigan na si John Baliza para sa paglilinaw sa amin. No? At huwag kayo magsasawang uh, maging kapartner namin dito mm. sa UNTV no? para matulungan yung ating, mga, yung ating deaf community. Yes, diba? anytime. O oh, hearing impaired na ba? Diba? Deaf. Deaf. Yeah. Deaf. Yeah. 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 Maraming salamat, John Baliza. Salamat. Again. Thank you, John.